All right, number five, we're going to be um, adding and subtracting some fractions. Okay, the thing to remember when adding and subtracting fractions is you have to have the same denominator. So it tells us we're dealing with the same parts. So here we have negative 10 divided by 9 plus 2 divided by 9. Okay, so since the bottoms are the same, whenever you're adding and subtracting fractions, um, the bottom will stay the same. It does not, uh, it's not affected by the addition or subtraction. Now we want to do the addition or subtraction with the 10 and the 2. So negative, positive means I'm going to subtract. So I'm going to do 10 minus 2. That's going to give me 8. And out of 10 and 2, the bigger number was negative. So this is going to be negative 8 over 9. Okay, so number six, we see we have a similar problem, except this time the fractions are not the same. So we have negative seven over 12, and then we're going to be adding that <clears throat> to a negative one over 14. Okay, so the best thing to do when just dealing with two fractions, okay? Um, I'm going to show you just a little shortcut to combine these or get a common denominator and then solve it. So what we're going to do, we're going to cross multiply. So imagine taking this 14 and multiplying it across this plus sign to this 7. And we're going to do the same thing. Imagine multiplying this 12 across this plus sign to this 1. So what's happening is we're doing negative 7 times 14. That's what's happening. And then it's still going to be the 12 on the bottom. Okay, so the denominator is going to stay. Well, let me not, let me not do that yet because um, I'm going to do it all together. And then that plus sign is going to stay, but we're also going to do this negative 1 times 12. So negative 1 times 12. Okay, so that's first. You're going to cross the, the bottoms to the top. So that's how you get that. Now, to get your common denominator, you're going to multiply both denominators together. So the 12 and 14 on the bottom. We're going to multiply 12 times 14. So this is the process. You're going to multiply the bottoms together. That's going to give you a common denominator. And then you're going to cross the tops. So essentially what's happening, this is what's happening. Um, we're doing 14 Whatever's on the bottom, I'm going to multiply it over here. So that's how you got the negative 7 times 14, which is there, and then 12 times 14. So I'm just multiplying this bottom times top and bottom over here. All right. And then I'm pretty much doing the same thing on the other side. So I'm doing 12 top and bottom over here. So my negative 1 times 12, that's this term here. And then I had 14 on the bottom. I'm also multiplying that by 12. Okay, so that's how you get that common denominator. Um, and then you do the, we're going to do the math and simplify. So um, I don't know which way would be better just to think multiply top and bottom and multiply top and bottom and get this and then simplify or just cross them and then multiply the bottoms together and you get one fraction. But either way, they both work out to be the same. So I'm going to try to do some mental math here. 7 times 4 is 28. Okay, so I'm going to write my 8, carry in 2, 7 times 1 is 7, plus 2 is 9. So this is a negative 98. All right, and then 12 times 1, sorry, anything times 1 is itself. I don't know why I wrote an equal sign, plus, um, sorry about that. And then negative 12 over here, because 1 times anything is itself. And then when we do 12 times 14, what I'm going to do is uh, imagine 10 times 14 is 140. So I'm going to write 140. And then 2 times 14 is uh, 28. So that's going to give me 168. All right. So both signs are the same. So I'm going to add those together. So that's going to give me 110 over 
or negative 110, I should say, over 168. And then we need to reduce. Okay, um, Because both numbers are even, I know I can divide by 2. So if I divide by 2, the top number gives me 55. Negative 55, that is. Be careful. I keep wanting to, to lose my negative. That will mess us up very quickly. And then divide by 2, that will give me 84. And then 11 and 5 are factors here, and I don't believe those are factors there. So we'll go with negative 55 over 84.